Welcome to the real world trial for our ultra efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. Glad these scientists can still work from home after the Foundation was destroyed. No need to make headlines. This is a job for plain old Pete. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. Okay, let's head to that first checkpoint. Checking in at the checkpoint. Ooh, concert happening today. MJ and Harry and I have been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Awesome! You got a little air on that one! Check. Oh, that's not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. blow up on me, but this will be my first bicycle. Gotta hurry. Maybe I can vent some of this excess charge by depleting it with a speed boost. The bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. 
Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. Rats ate bees! Rats sure will eat anything. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Bee wolves, bee gone. Gotcha. the data set. Now, in the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. The real estate, here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go. I'm like a bee real estate agent. A bee real estate agent. Drone will self pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful. Hoping to give MJ some alone time, but I'm beat. Time to head home for a little rest. Wonder what she decided for her article. <sighs> uh, forgot to wash the sheets at the house again. society need to have a collective reckoning with the notion of heroes. As I warned, a monster we were told was cured has returned to wreak havoc, and Spider-Man failed to protect us. Once again, Dr. Kurt Connors, the lizard, rampages through our streets. The good doctor drags Spider-Man around town in one of the most pathetic displays of heroism I've ever witnessed. Was it her? Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, Please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Should be something around here. Really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. These are clearly more efficient with water. 
I can use that. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. Can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see. Wait to see this grow. If this works, these plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. I just gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Hmm, pipes drop. Be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? This should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. See what's the latest greatest in it. These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. 
Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. Now to deploy! This is... really high! How can such tiny turbines create so much energy? Turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. You gotta get up there. Talon drones attacking the turbine. I've gotta stop them. You guys again? I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. I am, all right. And we won't have to. Uh, really? I'm in your way? Of them. Now to get this turbine back in place. There. All up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. Santa Cubs, did, uh, anyone happen to lose a 60-foot lizard? No? Cause the city of New York just did. Seriously, it's just gone. And you wanna know the spooky thing? Two people went into that sewer, a lizard and Spider-Man, but only one came out. So what happened in there? What did Spider-Man do? <sighs> Folks, look, I know I sound like he who must not be named, <coughs> Jonah. <coughs> and believe me, I, I feel just as hinky about that as you do, but we trust Spider-Man to look out for us, to do it the right way. What if he starts doing it the wrong way? What then? I'm sorry to get dark, folks, but those are the times. So let's all hope whatever journey Spider-Man is on, he finds his way back to the light. That's a 
lot of nesting boxes. Good real estate. Here, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles, so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bodyguards, Queen's Edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's B. This is a strange job. Unidentified predator detected. But not to be confused with Queen Bee. Nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha, Meropody albicollis, the white-throated bee eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoo this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Follow you if you don't move. Get going. Giving you a little push. Mush, mush, birdie. Keep it moving, buddy. Gotta shoot him to scoot him. This is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. 